Hello and welcome to another video for Midas Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we are looking at the 1996 release by Playmates from their Star Trek Inner Space series of playsets. And this particular one that we are looking at today is of the Medical Tricorder mini playset. And this mini playset actually opens up to reveal the Enterprise uh, medical bay and the bio lab okay so this is the box that it comes in and it's got new at the very top on the right hand corner it's got star trek the next generation inner space medical tricorder mini play set ages four and up warning choking hazards small parts not for children under three years and it's collector's edition number and this is 036340 and it says bonus includes three star trek the next generation mini articulated action figures and that includes dr crusher lieutenant commander laforge and picard as lacutus it says starfleet medical tricorder as seen on the star trek the next generation tv show and it says opens up to reveal the starship enterprise medical bay and bio lab and it's assortment number 6165 stock number 6167 and you've got the payments logo on the bottom right hand corner and the image on the front there, you can see um, Dr. Crusher is examining Captain Picard when he's been converted into the Borg, known as Lacutus. And there's Geordie LaForge at the Biolab um, computer. Okay, so that is the front of the box. Let's turn it around and have a look at what we got printed on the back. Okay, so I'll turn the box around. We've got much better images here now, so you can actually see the actual item. So, uh, Star Trek The Next Generation Inner Space series medical tricorder mini playset it says remove clip and flip open top and sides of tricorder to access hidden medical bay and bio lab uh, flip up overhead sensor cluster for additional light during operations place captain picard and the cooters into the bio chamber uh, fold down diagnostic view screens for dr crusher to access condition of captain picard He's got clip medical tricorder to waistband or belt. And then you've got the um, the description of what all these items are. So you've got the overhead sensor cluster, uh, the main diagnostic display, obviously Dr. Crusher, diagnostic view screen, Lieutenant Commander LaForge, uh, scanner bio chamber, Captain Picard of the Cooters laying on the bed there, medical supply units, and the cryo chamber and it's got swung open cryo chamber in preparation transformation of picard back to human form interesting okay and it says um, medical incident report star date 2366 reported by chief medical officer dr beverly crusher patient captain john luke picard it says patient, patient had been captured and kidnapped by the Borg and assimilated into the Borg collective consciousness. Following patient's rescue from Borg ship and return to Enterprise Medical Bay, Captain Picard was observed to host several implanted cybernetic devices of Borg design. Patient was restricted to transformation and insisted that he was Lacutus of Borg. Implant removed, operation successfully completed on patient in cryo chamber and returned to original human condition and status was achieved using standard bio chamber procedures. Patient currently being monitored and side effects of on unseen complications. And it says collect all of these other inner space series mini playsets. So you've got the USS Enterprise D. Uh, which comes with Captain Picard, Commander Riker, and Lieutenant Commander Data minifigures. Uh, the Shuttlecraft Goddard, personal Shuttlecraft Type 7 with Lieutenant Commander LaForge and Com Commander Troy. Um, movie Klingon Bird of Prey, Cruiser Class Defense Force Starship with Garon, the Klingon, and Lieutenant Commander Worf. Uh, type 2 Phaser mini playset. Uh, opens to reveal an alien planet environment with Lieutenant Commander Wolf, Lieutenant Commander Data, and Q. The Borg ship, Borg Collective, attack and assimilate spacecraft with Borg and Captain Picard minifigures. 
and the Romulan war warbird, enemy strike and attack starship with Romulan operative Sella and Captain Picard as a Romulan. Okay, so that is the back of the box. Before we actually open it up, let's just turn it to the side. And on the side it says Star Trek Next Generation in Space Series, Playmates, Ages 4 and Up, Assortment Number 6165, Stock Number 6167, a Medical Tricorder Mini Playset, a Starfleet Medical Tricorder as seen on the Star Trek the Next Generation TV show, opens up to reveal the Starship Enterprise Medical Bay and Bio Lab. Bonus includes three Star Trek Next Generation Mini Articulated Action Figures. And on the other side... Pretty much the same again. Star Trek Next Generation series, Playmates, Ages 4 and Up, stock number 6165, stock number 6167. Medical Tricorder Mini Playset, Starfleet Medical Tricorder as seen on Star Trek Next Generation TV show. Opens up to reveal the, the Enterprise, Starship Enterprise Medical Bay and Bio Lab. And bonus includes free Star Trek The Next Generation Mini Articulated Action Figures, which we can actually see right at the front of the box there. Um, which is Dr. Crusher, Lieutenant Commander of the Forge, and Picard as the Cooters. Okay, I'm quite eager to get this box open and get the item out and have a look at it, so let's do that right now. Okay, so I've opened the box and removed the contents, and this is what we've got. So we have got here, and well, that's obviously stickers for the playset. Uh, you've got instructions there as well. Um, this is all... No, it's not. I thought it was sealed at both ends, but it's only tape holding that together. So let's, if I can manage to just edge that open. Yep, we managed to do that. And let's pop this stuff out of here and see exactly what we got. Okay, let's move that out of the way. So, yep, so those are the stickers to go on to the tr medical tricorder. Um, obviously, they're going to be shown, and, and on the view screens and so on. And obviously, there's going to be instructions on where they go, and I'd imagine that's on here. So, yep, so this shows you where all your stickers are going to go, um, and they're all numbered, um, which is, yeah, they're numbered, I think, 1 to 20 by the looks of it. Or 1 to 18. Yeah, 1 to 18. Um, so, um, and all the everything's numbered on the uh, diagram here of where everything goes. It says, Dr. Beverly Crusher must remove several implanted cybernetic devices of Borg design from Captain Jean-Luc Picard, who believes he is Lacuse as a Borg using standard Starfleet medical procedures. Dr. Crusher successfully operates on Captain Picard while in the biochamber and he is returned to his human condition. Flip open the medical tricorder to top and pull out size to access medical bay and bio lab is shown. Insert the bio chamber into place in bio lab is shown. Attach bio beds to posts or hole in medical bay as shown. Um, yeah, so that's all the setting up instructions. I won't read it all because um, I won't bore you. We're going to have a look at the item itself now. So let's do that right now. Oh, there's the three figures, by the way. So that's them there. And there, that there is the medical beds there. Okay. So that looks like that opens up. And okay. So we've, we're strapped in. So I'm going to have to take this out off camera um, because it's all still attached. So uh, we'll be back. Okay. So I've removed the uh, medical tricorder from the um, box. I've taken the strapping off, and this is what we've got. So it's still tape down i'm just going to try and lift that tape so that i can open the bag and take the item out i don't want to obviously damage it so let's see if we can just edge that tape off which we can there we go and it's folded up like an envelope so we just have to remember that's how it goes back together right here we have the medical tricorder. So, yeah, how does it open? That's a good question. Oh, does it open that way? That's certainly the clip. It looks like it. It opens, but this one. Oh, there. Yeah, there we go. So that opens up there. 
um, obviously that pops up there. Um, whatever that is has popped out as I've opened that up. So, the, okay, so these bays open up. Uh, well, that one certainly did. I mean, imagine the other one does. Oh, yes, so there's a clip on the side there. I've just seen the clip there. Uh, so that opens up. And why is that? Oh, it's because it's on the the belt clip. So that really doesn't stand very well, does it? Um, and that I presume that sits on there. Let's uh, let's open this up and have another look. Okay, so. Yeah, that's supposed to sit flat down like that. Now, I don't believe it can because it's got the clip on the bottom there. And I can't see the clip moving anywhere. That's not going to open all the way because that's got to be standing up. So, yeah, a little bit awkward, but there we are. Let's flip out the medical truck and pull out the size to access medical bay and bio lab. Insert the bio chamber uh, into place in bio lab as shown. Attach bio beds to posts or hole in medical. So, that, so the bio beds you can attach, but I'm not going to do that because they're still taped up in the uh, box. So that, that actually goes... Yeah, so that actually sits on there like so so that yeah so that light comes up there that sits on there like so um this actually comes out which is where you drop the card in to transform in apparently um this is open up sensor bio chamber and insert any Star Trek Next Generation minifigure, the figure's hands may have to stick outside of the front of the chamber. So that's the bio chamber there. And then it goes on to there, which is there. Okay, let's just pull back a little bit so you can see exactly what I'm looking at here. Um, outside clip on medical triangle can be attached to your belt or waistband. A remove clip from medical trichord before sliding down as shown. Be sure to remove belt clip. Ah, so that's why um, it's not standing properly because the belt clip um, is still attached. So uh, it says slide the belt clip down. Right, so that removes it. That's, that's fair enough. So that comes off now. And then we can open up the chamber. And now we have it sitting properly. And obviously this opens up as well. And you can put one of your Star Trek minifigures in there. Close it up and he goes, sits there on the bio chamber. So that's better. So then the lamp comes up like so. Um, it says... Uh, remove diagnostic scanner from top end of the tricooler and turn it around to reveal bio chamber. Okay, so that's that. We've done that. Put out overhead sensor chamber to give Dr. Grush additional light during operations. We've done that as well. Um, fold down top of medical supply cabinet for access to medical instruments. Okay, fold down top. I don't know where that is. Uh, oh, okay, so there we go. So that's a fold down top. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but you fold it down apparently, as shown on the image just here. I keep knocking that over. It doesn't sit very well. Um, and it says here, fold down diagnostic view screen to reveal life-saving medical diagnostic display 
and that is oh that is in there okay so that um so that folds down in there as you can see i've just folded that down um and then obviously when, when all the stickers are in place um it will look a lot different because it'll look like a medical bay and bio chamber so at the moment it just <laughs> looks like a little uh plastic toy but with the stickers on it would make it a much better item it says when finished fold out sends the cluster down close cryo chamber then close the sides and top of place it snap sensor bio chamber back into place on the top of the medical tricoder reattach the outside clip mini figures can be stored inside apply labels 1 to 18 as shown note make sure the playset is upright before opening or figures may fall out do not pull on figures legs if legs come off snap back into place well there we go so that is the how you prepare and attach it okay so let's move that instructions out of the way now um so let's have a look at the little details of this and so that's quite a nice touch um the pull down screen there um and you've got a sticker that goes behind it to reveal life-saving information um that's a, a nice little touch as well for your figures to actually sit in that does actually go on nicely if you press it down there is a, a little hook there that which holds it into position which i didn't notice that before um so that's that is quite on nice and sturdy um a great little light there that goes up and then you've got the big sticker that goes on there as well um so it, will, it would look much better with the stickers in place and that's your yeah at, at where you pop captain picard into um to transform him back into Locutus, apparently into um um what's his name to uh, transfer Locutus back into picard okay and then you've got these two holes on the sides there and i presume they are for where the, yeah so you see you've got these other beds um, and they slap slop into these two holes on the side there and there's one that goes into the hole in the you can just see that hole there uh, that's where the other bed goes into but there's that's still attached into the box i'm not going to take that apart because it's taped in um but you take them out and then they pop them into place and it and then you've got another three medical beds so you have one here one here and one here okay quite a little complicated set this is actually surprisingly enough <laughs> it took a little while to figure out uh, how it works and so on but um but yeah it is a nice little item to display and if we zoom in quite close to it um i mean you can't see a great de detailing for what you've got there it's pretty good really um obviously it looked better with all the stickers stuck on because that will give it the air of the detailing that it's missing at the moment um but um obviously i can't do that um but otherwise it's a lovely little play set um in line with the minifigures and which you obviously you you collect if you collect these you've got minifigures on all of them so the figures can be moved from one section to another section so overall yeah not a a bad item um quite an, a nice little set really um so million dollar question how well did they do well i don't think the inner space stuff actually done that particular well um they were very very small items the idea was great because it was it was designed for you to take and carry around with when you moved around the trouble is with that is you know you lose all little pieces so it's not necessarily always a good thing to to do so uh, but they were designed to be the pocket size a bit like poly pockets if you like so they were designed to be this the, the the small sections the small play sets that you can carry around and take anywhere really so but i say i don't think they've done that particularly well they were all all um collectors series as, as well so um, I don't know the exact numbers that were produced, um, but um, but obviously they've all, all sold since they were produced, although we are going back um, some, what, 28 years? 20, yeah, 28 years ago um, when these were produced. So um, obviously the whole stock went 
um, but I don't, I say, I don't know the full numbers. Obviously, I, more was produced for the States um, than what came over to the UK, but the, the numbers I've just got no idea on, really. But as I say, based on my personal review of these items and the, where they pop up and how we used to sell them in the shops, I don't think they actually sold as well as um, expected. However, now we're talking, like I say, we're talking um, 20 26 years on yeah 26 years on 28 years on 28 years on these items are now incredibly collectible and very very difficult to find especially in this mint unopened condition which was mint unopened until i opened it to show you uh, but rest assured it will be returned to the box in the same condition that it was when i found it uh, but finding them in this mint condition is very very difficult now uh, for any of these um, inner space play sets, they, they just don't really come up on the platforms anymore like they used to. Um, they are very, very few and far between now. Um, but, uh, and all, of course, when they do pop up on the platform, you need to be a little bit careful because they generally have been played with. Um, they've been opened and they're usually missing bits or there's bits broken on them. Um, so you just got to be a little bit careful when you buy on the platforms. But we at Midas Touch have managed to find a few of these mint condition ones. And they are available to purchase on the Midas Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It takes you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Star Trek items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody, and I'm absolutely positive that you're not going to want to miss this, because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products, which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long-lost childhood memories, well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed reviewing it with me. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again next time.